issues. Greetings to Screed Defenders. In today's installment of 115 grain 9mm standard pressure short barrel tests, we are pitting two budget ammunitions against each other. Now both of these are hollow points, but they come in 50 round boxes. And I'll show you briefly. They are the Fiocchi Defense Dynamics, list velocity of 1175 feet per second and the Federal Train and Protect Versatile HP, they're called. And the first thing we're gonna do is test them for muzzle energy out of the one or three and one sixteenth inch barrel of the Taurus GX4. Oh, let me show you this. The, uh, the slight difference in the hollow point design, not much really, but you can see the Fiocchi's are a little bit more deeply grooved Federals are on the right there, and they are, they, they actually have a, uh, a blue uh, sealant of some kind that's visible in the, uh, in the primer area, which I kind of like. It's uh, obviously um, reminiscent of something CCI does, or Spear, for the gold dot rounds, but Federal owns CCI Spear. So I guess they have a right to use their technology if they like. All right, first up, I'm gonna shoot the Fiocchi's and then we'll move on to the Federals. We'll get a chronograph reading on these, five shots each, and then we'll move on to the gel test. Two ninety-five. Mm, that's not really helping. Okay, we'll test four shots each. Three twelve. Delete string. Let's shut this off and see what's going on. Now, I was able to find both of these boxes for a grand total of $55, tax included. Uh, they were on sale, but uh, ordinarily the Fiocchi's are $26.99 and the Federal's are $29.99 in the big box store where I usually shop, where I shop most often, I should say. All right, let's start over. 3356. Well, that's not right either. Well, you know what? Let's try the Federals. As we're having a little bit of issue with the chronograph. A thousand thirty seven. A thousand fifty four. 1,042, 1,051, and 1,062. Really consistent results from those Federals. A high of 1,062, a low of 1,037. The average is 1,049 feet per second. That is not bad. Not the most powerful, but Again, you wouldn't expect that from a low budget training round that can also be used apparently for defensive carry. But let's try those Fiocchi's again. They're rather brightly colored. Delete that string. Hopefully we've got the Pro Chrono educated now. Thirty-nine sixty-nine. Nope. <laughs> Does not want to register those Fiocchi's. If I could just get one to read right. Forty-one seventy-seven. I have to say the uh, the Fiocchi's do feel a little bit hotter than the Federals. They are recoiling just a bit more strongly, and perhaps. That's all I'm going to be able to go on for now. 
I guess we'll move on to the denim and gel test then. Okay, we'll have to get into this pretty quick like here because the sun is out and it will heat up the gel block. So once again, Taurus GX4 is the test gun. The test subjects are the Federal Train and Protect and Fioki Defense Dynamics, both 115 grain standard pressure, nine millimeter hollow points. And we've got 16 inches of gel, four layers of 12 ounce denim in front of it. A couple of water jug backers. You know the drill, pretty basic stuff. Let's just start out with the Fiokis. Again, I like that, uh, like that hollow point design with the, uh, the deep serrations. Federals I like because I've got that little blue obvious sealant in the background. I think that's a CCI spear thing, but why not? Federal owns CCI, so they can borrow freely from their technology. All right, Fiocchi's first. Would help if I chamber it. And nice entry. Ooh, jacket separation. But there is the bullet. I'm just gonna, that, and that's gone. Quick measure that. That's gone 13 inches and expanded and then separated from the jacket. But I'm gonna flip this around and get the, uh, get the Federals put in there quickly from the other direction. While the gel remains within spec for temperature Flip the denim barrier the other way around as well. All right, and get the Federals in there. All right, make sure I don't hit that. Oh yeah, no problem. Plenty of room. And that one does not show the same immediate signs of expansion in fact it shows no signs of expansion and has over penetrated there's not really an exit wound so much as there's an exit slice in the first gel blocks it's possible that federal is in here nope federal is not in there well i think we can tell by the wound track there's been virtually no expansion with the federal train and defend and given the fact that we're only working with a 12 ounce, with a 12 ounce four layer denim barrier, I think one shot is all we need to conclude. Those Federals are not as good as the Fiokis. At least when it comes to expansion. So there's our denim and gel test of Federal versus Fiocchi for your low budget hollow point 115 grain standard pressure loads. Now I will examine the expanded Fiocchi. Grab a caliper. Remember the entry point is over here. Here's the bullet at 13 inches and there's its jacket. Not great performance by the Fiocchi, but expansion trumps no expansion. So, calipers are zeroed. And let's maybe come in from the end here, pretty close. Uh, all right, and grab that bullet out of there. Definite, definite expansion. See which one of these has the widest diameter. Probably this one right here. At its greatest, it's about 52, 107 inch. 
not too bad, but probably not the best choice, but it is by far and away the cheapest choice. These Fiocchi Defense Dynamic 115 grain standard pressure nine millimeter are under $30 a box, tax included. I got these for $26.99. Well, they were regular price $26.99, but there was an ammo sale going on at the store I was in at the time, so I didn't even pay that much for them. Not bad. You can just about practice with these. 50 cents a round. I'll take those. If, uh, if you want to practice with the same ammunition that you, uh, that you carry for defense, I would say the Fiocchis may be the better option than the Federal Train and Protect, despite the fact that these are specifically designed for that role. I suppose some people are going to want to see how gigantically the, uh, the jacket expanded since it did penetrate pretty deep, about 12 inches. And of course, if you're counting the jacket, the separated jacket, <laughs> pretty, pretty close to 90 caliber. That's pretty decent. Too bad we lost that federal bullet, but it definitely failed expansion. So there's the comparison shoot between the Fiocchi Defense Dynamics and the Federal Train and Protect from the 3 and 1 16th inch barrel of the Taurus GX4. Thanks folks, this is Dave for DDR. Have a great week.